Hey guys, Unholy Bus here, back for another video. Today I'm actually going to be doing blood effects. Uh, I'm actually not going to be doing this effect on a person, but I'm going to be doing an effect on a pillow, just to show what you can do. Uh, now first, you need to take your video recording. Here's mine. Here's me holding up a pillow. And me pretending like it just got shot and falling down. Um... This is the recording that we use, and as you can see up in the top left corner, it says video underscore 0007. So let's go here, type in video, video, that's fail spelling, drag this, put this onto the bed, um, type in cutscene, like this, sorry, <clears throat> kind of slow. As you can see, now I put it in here, I just dragged it right from there into the video. Now, take this video and drag it onto your timeline. Here's your video. Again, I'll show you the video. Um, here's just me, you know, holding the pillow and then randomly you know, I pretend I get shot. Like that. Alright. Now, um, how to add a blood effect. Now, first of all, you need to have your blood effect. Um... Mine I'm going to be using is a splotch of blood. So let's actually drag that in into our pop art. I forgot what you call it. But at the exact moment you want it to come in, probably right here. Like that. Do that. Oh, you drag this in to here. You go here. You go down to the bottom. And if yours looks like this, click toggle switch, switches slash mode down at the bottom here. Click that, it'll actually switch all your settings here. Go to mode, go to normal, and switch that to screen mode. Oh wait, that was bad. Give me a second, guys. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back with a new, uh, improved thing, or blood picture. Uh, again, I got it from Google, and I typed in blood spurt effect, and go to images, and they'll actually give you the option. But now you paste this into the bar, the, you're not the bar, sorry, the top. When it's in here, you click it, and drag it into your scene. Now here, this is, you go down, and like I just said, if you don't have the, these settings, and you have these, click this toggle switch slash modes. It'll change all your settings. Uh, then go to mode, go to normal, and go to screen. Now that'll actually get rid of the background, so it'll look like you only have the blood splotch. So let's, well, I'm gonna add this here. Take the blood, change that how you'd like. I'll go bigger. Yeah, that looks way bigger. Uh, you can do much editing with it. Uh, you can go here, you can go to transform, and you can change how light it is, depending on if you get a big wound or a small wound or a big wound. Uh, you can flip it vertically or horizontally, like so. I'm not going to change that though, but you can leave that. Scale just changes it how big it is. This is it's horizontal. Yeah, let's just put this about here. Splotch of blood. Alright, now that that's there, drag this in here. Alright, see how it, like, when I move, you have to actually change where this is. So when that happens, bring in another blood effect. So you can do the same exact thing until you, until the thing that you're recording actually goes out of the screen. Uh, or you could just simply go like this. Uh, you can take your recording so it looks like this. It's, it depending on how fast you want it to go, and actually leave it longer if you want. It. Give me one second, guys. All right, guys, here we are back, and let's see this effect in action. Let's see if we need to do any any editing. <laughs> As you can see, it gives it a little blood effect there. 
Uh, you can add a, again, you can add a blood spurt effect. Or you can also change it. So, if you really wanted it, it could be my head that's all bloody. It's like right about here. So, that's in my head. And you can actually drag the picture in and add the blood effect on my head if you really wanted to. Um, it doesn't really matter though. It does, doesn't really make a difference. Uh, but you can, again, if you're going to do that, you have to click it. <clears throat> go to toggle switch modes, click screen, uh, put it where you want. Yeah, put it right there. Um, start, so let's end it like right there. Uh, start right about here for me. Let's see how that works. Turn this. Let's see. So it's form. There we go. Start it. See, it's kind of a funny effect. Like, there we go. Let's see how that works. Now I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. There we go. And if you really want like a butt effect, like this one, like got shot in the face. See how this looks. The final, final. Thing. See all this looks like. Click it here and then randomly douche and then douche. There we go. Um that's it for now. Uh please rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. And as usual, leave a comment if you liked it. And if you want to know how to do any other effects, I can help you with that. Alright, see you guys later. And hope you enjoyed the video.